What's going on YouTube? So I want to um, do a little demo here, um, show some examples of how to do some programming of the Anymote remote um, and um, how to pair it and uh, have it work with the Amazon Echo. Um, I have here my Amazon Echo and a penny with the heads up, so that's good. And then I have um, the Anymote remote. It's a universal remote IR blaster and then um, I'm using my iPad I have my TV up here I have my PlayStation over here I have a blu-ray player and also my TiVo box um, so my goal is going to be to take these remotes and combine them into one remote and um, eventually uh, eliminate the use of those remotes. So, you know, I'm not going to go through how you pair or set up the Animote. Um, the, um, the documentation on that is pretty simple. But what the documentation is not, well, where, where it's lacking is on um, the macro setup and how to actually um, um, select the right remote for you and um, then how to do um, changes to the remote add buttons and so I thought I'd do a little display on that um, it's been a little process of elimination for me so first let me give you a little demo of what I've done so I've got my TiVo box I've got my DVD player a blu-ray player and I've got my TV set up and my TV is a Sony Bravia and it will actually talk to my PlayStation 4 um, through the input um, and uh, so I can actually use my remote to control my PlayStation 4 as well. And I'll probably do separate uh, tutorials or examples of that um, once I have um, it all working the way I want to work it. But again, for this, I just want to show you how to set up macros and how to program buttons. Um, it's not that difficult. Uh, I, it's been made out to be very difficult, but I find it to be um, pretty easy. So. Um, let me log into my iPad here, and uh, so you'll see. <clears throat> Let me get out of the. So, um, once you pair your Anymote with the app that you download from the App Store, um, you're now you're going to want to go out and you're going to want to select a remote, and what I did was is I went out and I went to down here to add remote and I apologize if the for the shakiness um, I do have a little tripod on here I will try to use that here in a second but for right now um, I am um, gonna try to hold this camera still as, as possible okay so on my TV it's a Sony so of course I went in and I typed search for Sony and it came back and it tells me there are eight brands or eight device types and uh, so I see my Sony TV and it, it gave me two choices it gave me this one that says Sony most models or if I say next it gives me Sony old models so I know my TV is a little newer and it, if, I, if I look at the um, let me go back and get out of this. Okay, so I knew that this kind of rep replicated or it had the similar features of my Sony Bravo remote. remote. So I went ahead and chose the, the newer model one. And when I look in and say, okay, I've got it, and I can test it before I accept it and you can see my TV came on <clears throat> my um, if I want to channel change the channel go to the channel up you see, oh, that's working on the TV of course I don't want to change that so I'm gonna go back to my HDMI input I'm on HDMI 2 
so now I can go back. So most of these buttons I've figured do work with my TV. Some of them don't, but for the most part, most of them do. So I went in and kept this remote and saved it. <clears throat> and so then, uh, once you once you have that selected, then you can go into the settings, and you'll see an option on the menu that says Amazon Echo. And so, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and pair it. It's going to tell me, I've already paired it once, but it'll tell me to use some keywords. So I'm going to say, Echo, tell any moat to use pin code hot thought. This pairing code does not exist. Hot thought. Please try again. Echo, tell any moat to use pin code hot thought. This pairing code does not exist. Hot thought. Please try again. Echo, tell any moat, use pin code hot thought. Pairing with any moat and is complete. That just goes to show you. tutorial is now shown on your phone on the same Alexa pairing page. If you, if you um, go into the Amazon Echo, you'll know that it has some features in there that help it understand your uh, speech better. And I've been teaching mine, but it still does have problems sometimes. Um, understanding words that I say and I found that to be um, frustrating at times but um, it, it is in there and I, I do notice improvements as I train it more and more so if you have if you have an Amazon Echo then you probably want to, to look at that feature but now I'm, I'm paired so now I can use different commands so I can say Echo tell any mote turn off my TV And Command, then, turn off center TV remote. And so now I've got my voice synced with the remote through the echo to the any mode device. And I have to be quiet when I say any mode or else it'll hear, hear me, or I mean when I say echo, or else it'll hear me and it'll um, start asking me for commands. So, um, so that now that I have that remote selected, the next thing I wanted to do was, and, and you can name your remotes and one of the things I have found too is you don't want similar names so like my TV is the name of my remote and then I had it my uh, TiVo box is my TiVo however whenever I would give commands to the Echo it would um, hear me and sometimes it would recognize me saying TiVo and sometimes it would think I was saying my TV and it would get confused. So <clears throat> I changed the name to Box, and all I did was, um, on this one though, I, I changed, I did a little different setup on how I did this. So I went to Add Remote, and then I looked for TiVo. <clears throat> and it gave me the option, it said it had one TiVo's, TiVo um, set-top box. And it gives you an option to search for the server. So, um, what I wanted to do, you can say C compatible devices also, and it'll say most brands. But I knew I had a unique brand based on my cable provider, and um, it's called um, the Premier. So what I did was, is I went into my TiVo settings and found the IP address for my TiVo box. And so what I'll do, if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you here quickly. Um, again, you have to excuse the, the setup or the, the video. But when you go in, you can go to um, your settings and messaging. I'm going to go to settings. And of course, I'm going to put my pin in. And And so it's got the option for your network. And so I can go in here and I can see there's my IP address up there. And I typed in that IP address in the entry. And when I did a search, it's going to come back and it's going to say it found um, but you can see it 
it says it found an Elite 4, and that says 98 chance compatible, and then it has the Premiere down here, which it says 61. And so I went ahead and selected the Premiere, which was what was specified in my um, box, or in my um, Suddenlink uh, online manual. And it came back and it gave me this remote here. So now I have a very similar, if you look at this remote, it has a very similar look to the actual TiVo remote. <coughs> And so then um, I wanted to, I saved it and I, re I renamed it. And the way you can do that is you can go in here, for instance, and um, I'm going to say um, go to the, the edit button. And you'll see down here it gives you the option to rename it. And I renamed it Box just so it wouldn't get confused with the, um, um, <clears throat> the naming of the TV set. So now I have that. And now, I, of course, once you every time you add something, you have to resync it. And I have found the best way to do that is to go back in and do a repairing. Because if you do it, sometimes this you know, it gives you the option here to sync remote with Alexa. However, <clears throat> if you do that, sometimes it just doesn't work. But if I pair it again, Echo, tell any mode, use pin code Federal Food. Pairing with any mode is complete. Okay. Short usage tutorial is now shown on your phone on the same Alexa pairing page. So now I have both remotes paired. I have my TV remote paired and I have my TiVo box paired. And um, the, now the, the question is as well, there's only basic commands on here. Um, and I, you can see there's boxes or buttons that I've added. I've added AMC, I've added HBO, CBS, uh, Fox News, Red Zone. <clears throat> so I'm going to walk you through on how to do one of those setups in just a moment, but I just want to make sure that you can see now that I've got two remotes, I can tell. Echo, tell any remote, turn on my TV. Command, turn on set to your TV remote. And you can see my TV turned on. And so I'm going to say, Echo, tell any mode live on my box. Command lift sent to your box remote. Okay, so now I, I'm, I'm using two remotes now. I have the TV remote and I have the box remote. And again, eventually I'm going to combine these all into one smart remote. And then I won't have to worry about what I say. Because right now I have to specify whether it is the t my TV, TV box or whether it's my box or whatever the name is that I've given it. So <clears throat> uh, here I'll say, um, Echo, tell any moat, guide on my box. Command guide sent to your box remote. Let me see. So, um, so Echo, tell any moat, okay, on my box. Sent to your box remote. Okay, so now, so the basic commands are there, but now I want to add specific channels that I want to watch. 